day seven on the road. Um, Jackson, Alabama. Riding out the current storm that is overhead. There's a break in between the showers that are passing anyways. Um, staying in the Best Western. Decided I really want to camp more. Um, despite what you may see by all these fucking gnats. Not mosquitoes, they're just gnats. I think I stink. Uh, <laughs> I showered. <laughs> um, anyways, um, yeah. I found me a little, nice little, little spot that I can just walk into and hang out and not have to worry about all the trucks and bullshit that's passing by. Um, yeah. I'm going to get on the road tomorrow. I'm excited. I feel a little bit better. I'm breaking up more of that congestion, more of the, the mucus bullshit that's in my lungs. Um, I'm sort of settling into the it's my ride. I can do what I want to with it. <laughs> um, I can go where I want to. I can city. take whatever Same time line. I need to. There'll be a whole lot more of that. Um, yeah. It's starting to rain a little bit more now, so I'm going to head back towards the uh, towards the hotel room and uh, watch another movie. Haven't been able to just veg out and relax for a little bit, so. All right. I'll see you all down the road. So why am I doing this trip? Opportunity presented itself, sort of in a slump uh, where I was at. Everything, I mean, things were good. It wasn't like, it wasn't like I didn't have friends, I didn't have, you know, um, prosperous career or people that liked me and like, no, all, all that stuff was good. Just, it wasn't fulfilling. Um, it sort of even ate at me. Um, so the opportunity came, I can move to Colorado. My brother and his wife, um, some uh, business opportunities opened up, explore new avenues, get back to roots somewhat. Um, they decided to move, like go back to where they want to and asked me if I wanted to come with them. I said, yeah. So I can move up there, um, and my brother posed the idea of, hey, you know, because I was on the fence. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a beach bum. I love the ocean. I love surfing. It's partly why I'm moving, because certain things that have happened in the past um, still don't sit well with me and still eat at me. Um, another story. But I'm going to go give the mountain high life a try. Um, I love the mountains. There's nothing wrong with them. I just don't know if it's me. Uh, the cold. I don't know. That's, that's a lot. So he proposed, why don't you ride your bike up there? Like I said, given it's something I've always wanted to do. Yeah, why not? I didn't really train for it. Um, increased the distance I rode. Uh, maybe 10 20 miles over every other day kind of thing i naturally once i like i said succumb to the cycling lifestyle i park my truck whenever i get home from work and everything else is done by like um if i had to drive anything under i would say 10 miles i would do my bike um so I ride a lot in the sense of frequently. I'm not in great shape. I even love my pizza. I love my wine. Uh, yeah. So, um, anybody can do this. It's not something like you just have to be determined to do it. I'm not saying I'm not going to give up the whole road. Well, as of now, I'm doing it. Um, my plan is to ride from Pensacola, Florida to Leadville, Colorado. And maybe more. I don't know. We're going to see about that. We'll see everything that's going on. I might just hit a stride and I don't know. I have a cart I can bring my dog with. 
so I can always like take a little stop, resupply, build the cart, and then head out. I don't know. As of now, I'm gonna ride the Underground Railroad uh, uh, Cycle Trail from. I'm picking. It up, I picked it up around Spanish Fort. I ride my own trip up to Spanish Fort through Fairhope and uh, Foley. Stay with my brother. Uh, his wife was away on business. Stay with him. Sister came over. Uh, boyfriend. And we had our like, sort of final goodbye dinner. And uh, then I cycled out to Fairhope. Fairhope. I met my friend Witt, his girlfriend. Had some drinks at a brewery. Um, lunch. Things got late. Of course, too many drinks. Um, ended up hitching a ride with him up to Blakely State Park, I think it is. Um, and that was because of Interstate 10 exchange and rush hour, Easter weekend, people want to get off, sun going down. I, I'm not going to get hit my, my second day. So I'm, I'm willing to take a ride. It's okay. I'm all right. Um, I don't have to prove that. 30 miles, or no, not even that, I think 15 miles, anyways, um, stayed at Blakely, Blakely was really nice, um, I was next to a whole bunch of families, families, they were cool, they didn't bother me, um, but they had a shit ton of kids, <laughs> and I'd say there was a good, maybe half of them that were of some sort of Hispanic descent, and they kept arguing about the kids were near a, a, like a mud puddle where it was like that peanut butter kind of tackiness. And uh, this one young kid had, had fallen into it. And of course, all night long, there was parades of him coming up and showing the evidence of how he couldn't have fallen into it. And there was another family who had uh, glow sticks on everyone, I guess in case of bears. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, I wish I had more time there just because of the historical significance that I found out later on. Evidently it was one of the, one of the last uh, places, of, uh, one of the last locations of a battle in the Civil War and uh, like the last one in, in Alabama. Um, but there's a lot of history there. Like I got to see the graveyard, I got to see some of the, um, the readouts. Redoubts, I think is how you pronounce it, and uh, the trench line, or the fortifications, uh, the earthen fortifications. Um, so it was pretty neat. Um, after that, rolling hills, high climbs. It might be I'm just fat and out of shape. It might be I've got way too much gear, which I'm re refining. I'm always thinking survival, preparedness, like, you know, going to the woods for a week and camp kind of thing. And most of this trip is going to be through towns, and it's just it's that same mentality just coming out bite me in the butt. So my first like two days, I was like, all right, well I'm gonna be camping for the first week, and no, like I mean you you are, but you can buy food fucking along the way. Like I just, anyways, um, so we mailing some of that stuff home, uh, and then like just another pair of shorts. It, like I realize I'm gonna be using maybe three pairs of of clothes. Two on the bike, one around town. It, 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 once again, over the top. I was a Boy Scout. Um, didn't make it very far, but that mentality, always be prepared. Um, let's see. After that, ended up staying at Hubbard's Landing. That's the name of it. I've, I've watched my old videos. I've, I've butchered the name numerous times. So what happened was, it was Easter Day, Sunday, I rolled in, I had a feeling they were going to be closed, I called the day before, um, I didn't leave a message, but I just sort of checked it out, and I think I had already called it after, because they closed at noon on Saturday, and they were from then through Sunday. So I got there, it was my last ditch, like I... If, if it seemed sketchy, if it seemed anything, I was just going to camp in the woods. But I decided that, like, I talked to a couple locals. Locals said that the person was cool. They said that, you know, yeah, it's all right. You know, I'm sure they'll understand, blah, 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 blah. 
I was in a camp by down by the, the campground section on the far far end. I decided not to because there was a water moccasin that I saw, about a foot and a half, two foot long. Um, like I said, it was just it was crazy seeing how stealth it can be. If you did, if you took your eye off on it, you would think it was a stick, um, and then you'd be fucked. Um, and it was not timid. Like it was it it was following me. It was tracking me. Um, but one of the locals said that the river was going to rise, so I decided to camp up near the, near the uh, thing, near the, the office, and I'm glad because in the morning, all that flooded, just like he said it would, just like I was worried, like, plaza I worried about, I'm glad, good move. Um, but the owner ended up showing up about 10.30 that night, and, um, so he shows up completely cool understands like i explained i'm like you know i, I thought it would be sketchy if i was down there you know i tried to call and i did call whenever i arrived and whenever i was passing through um treated everything like it was my own i swept out the bathroom and everything like that i mean uh but he was really really great person good people um if you ever in the area definitely hit him up good good upsetting guy didn't even charge me for the place like circumstances blah 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 um gave me a free bottle of water which is great even though like i'd already used his faucet and stuff out that was outside um i'm, I'm not gonna do somebody wrong but um but very beautiful location more hills after that um more and more hills i see how grove hill gets its damn name uh, and you're just talking rollers, 400 up and down, just not 400 up and down, but like 400 foot climb, down 50, up, not so. Kicking my out of shape ass. Um, I got no shame stepping off the bike. If there's a semi coming up from, from the rear, my little five mile an hour butt going up the hillside, not gonna make that much of a difference in my trip. So if you see me on the side of the road, I'm probably okay. Uh, but thank you for moving out of the way. So far, traffic's been pretty, like, very, very well, um, courteous. They've been courteous. I, I can't talk a lot. Um, well, they'll get over. A lot of times they don't slow down. Um, they're still booking by you at 50 miles an hour, 45 miles an hour, but, um, they are usually in the other lane. And that's one thing I've bitched about on my other videos is... The rumble strips are, if these three fingers of the lane, the rumble strip is right in the middle. Instead of moving it to the outside edge, this one, where the white line is, and giving me these other two, it puts it right in the middle and forces me to this outside edge. Cars pass, going around, going around turns, uphill, like in, in unsafe conditions because they want to keep going, and I understand that. But I've got to write just as much as they do. So states, counties, whoever, start fixing that shit. It's unsafe. Rolling to uh, Jackson. Oh, so I ended up staying. I didn't know where I was going to stay outside of Grove Hill. Um, ended up coming down the hillside some. <coughs> Bumped into an RV park. It was uh, just short of the Alabama River. I should have kept going. I was tired, I was worried I was going to end up having a stealth camp somewhere, and I didn't really know where I was going to have to be able to just because of the, the drop-offs. Um, so I stayed at an RV park. It was right next to Highway 84, I think it is. It was horrible all night long. There was just semis coming by. It ended up raining inside my tent because of condensation. Like, I just... <coughs> it, was, it was bad. Um, I'm still getting over this cough. Um, so I woke up the next morning, made a little climb into Jackson. That's not a bad little ride. From Grove Hill to Jackson, yeah, there's hills, but once you get off the beaten path on those county roads, it's very sweepy, rolly. There are some log trucks. But they, they've gotten over for me, and I never had a problem with any drivers on it. it wasn't really any dogs, lots of meadows, a lot of like, just tree line and stuff like that. So, very pretty, 
Um, reminds me a lot of home. Um, up around Blount County, County Road 13, Mitchell Farm State Road kind of thing, uh, without the sharp drop-offs. But, uh, so did that. Staying at this Best Western. Wal the Walmart here doesn't have a bike section. And that's, that's how, how much it's not supported in these regions, I guess. But there's no bike section that I saw. Unless they put it in the garden section because it didn't go outside. Like, where the honey, where the sports, where all that stuff is, there's not a pump, there's not a bike, there's not a patch kit, there's nothing. It's weird. Um, but every year's, every year's nice. Nobody here's been friendly. Um, I'm surrounded by the enemy. Everywhere outside my room is nothing but um, lumber trucks. Like people who work for the lumber companies, <laughs> timber companies and stuff. <laughs> so hopefully they're, hopefully they've been told or uh, hopefully the word is being passed that there's a cyclist coming through. Please don't kill him. <laughs> I need to tell him if I see him. I'll tell him. But anyways, that's pretty much the story up until now. I've been, I've had my highs, my lows. I've thought about quitting in the sense of, am I doing the right thing? Do I really want to do this? Like, I could be sitting on the beach right now. I could be surfing. I mean, there's been great waves. There's a beautiful front coming through. So, I don't... I've pondered that. I'm going to keep going. I'm eager to see what's around the next bend. In all honesty. Um, I'm going to transfer a bunch of uh, media over. we got the GoPro and the movie disc. I'll transfer that over here later. Um, been just watching movies, resting up, taking my medicine. That cough's still around, but it's starting to break up. I feel good. I feel better. I've um, I've actually get, gotten to eat. As you can see, I've just been repacking stuff, going over things. Um, reorganize. One thing that I was making a mistake with was keeping things like sunblock and bug spray any chafe cream uh, my, my um, battery pack things like that that um, things like that w that will um, making things more accessible just things that I'm picking up as I'm riding um, one thing I wish that people would do is more like food stuff so like I'm learning how to actually only buy, only eat for one. That's a little weird. Cooking on the road, I guess. Because most most things have two to four servings, and yeah, you're eating a lot, but hell, I've had trouble just, I don't know. But other than that, that's about it.